So you've got gazebos. I've noticed these are becoming more popular. Yeah. They're easy to put up, aren't they? And this is an outdoor rev revolution one, isn't it? Okay, so we're on Borders Leisure stand here. Toasters. Kettles. It's two slight... Oh, look at that. That is a big toaster, isn't it? <laughs> Fits in the cupboard. <laughs> That's always a problem, isn't it? That's the sort of thing you need this time of year. Plates. Collapsible bowls. And collapsible drainer as well, there. And those are drainers, aren't they? I've seen those around. Yes, yeah. Yeah, very good. Anything that's collapsible, I like. It takes up less space, isn't it? Socks here as well. Covers for your aqua roll. LED kits for your for your awning. Lighting kits. It's handy, isn't it? Wheel arch covers. That's what? That's for your drinks. That's it, falls out. It's a clip on clip on for your drinks, isn't it? Yeah. Essentials. Yeah, we've got all the essentials as well. Tell you what I do need, I need see if they've got it, there's somewhere to roll that aerial cable up with. Good wonder about getting one of those for it. I think I think I mentioned before about getting the food grade hoses, a little hose that's not a collapsible thing. That's oh, perfect. Holes. That yeah, is absolutely like perfect. Yeah, it's 13 pounds. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get a collapsible one, to be honest. Flat like, one. Well, it's a collapsible. Isn't well, it? a flat, flat one. Yeah. And you've got the mains adapter kits there as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Right. We'll start with the Eldis, the Supreme 115 two berth motor. So it is just a two berth. It's just. Under six meters, 5.7 meters, license friendly. That's a cute looking motor, isn't it? Nice. Looks like it's all sort of got got the pack on it. I can see the status aerial and awning, solar panel, 100 watt, 100 watt solar panel, alloys, nice alloys. Yeah, one Yeah. Let's go and have a look inside. Nicely lit in here with all these lights in. It's really nice in here. Mm, it is, isn't it? Yeah, so it's just a simple twin sofa sort of layout we would have bought when we were Yeah, and it's the younger. layout, there's a new bay in here, isn't there? For 59. So yeah, 59 too. So this layout so I think is actually coming back, isn't it? The twin it sofas. It used to be, a lot of them are doing it. It does give you a lot more room inside yeah. the van. Yeah. Well, I used to like it because, yeah. like I said before, you could get about six people around here because yeah. you really make bring these two into the group. Yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, you get four people over here, two people over here. Yeah. Very sociable. These come off, don't they, easily? Yeah, yeah, they're just for like. Putting your arm on, aren't they? Really? Yeah. Yeah. So what have we got? We've got a sunroof up there. There's a little uh, parcel shelf here, and that's got a nice deep lip, so you won't get things falling on your head. Got to watch these lockers. Oh, that one is actually broken. That's good. Not good. <laughs> Not a good start, is it? All right, push them down. You push them down to lift them up. Yeah, I bet some have struggled to get in. There. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, good size locker. I did notice this one when we were at the front, yeah. curtains. Yeah, it's unusual. Don't see very often, yeah, though. but look, it's also got blinds as well. Yeah. So this is 43941. Blinds and curtains. Now curtains are great when you've got blinds, aren't they? Because they mm. you can seal off the van. Yeah, yeah. And it cuts down the drafts. Yeah, I mean that's much better. When when we had curtains we didn't have blinds, did we? No. We just 
no. had windows. Yeah. So the, the, you can use the blinds when you're parked up, and you use the curtains at night to shut out the light. Well, that's good. And you've got curtains on the windows. Curtains too. on the windows. I've got the. Um, Oops, sorry. Go still on. In here. You're still in um, here. You've got these blinds yeah. that we had in the bay. Yeah, they're there. the, the uh, yeah. They're well, very the simple. Can open. Yeah, <laughs> even a dog can open them. Yeah. yeah. Carry on. Big, big sunlight. Uh, skylight there. Big skylight. The TV points over here and a USB. USBs. Yeah. Just going to have a look in this cupboard here. That's where your table goes. I think normally you pack it away a bit better than that. <laughs> right, that is a good tall locker. There's more space in there than there is in both of our wardrobes. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just well, it's, it's the length of it, isn't it? Yeah. You probably end up having a shelf in there. I think there's a couple of holes there for a shelf. Maybe that's what yeah. they do. Then you've got your full oven grill, electric hot plate, three burner, three burner gas, sink, the drainer. More sockets. And look at the microwave. And spot the microwave. <laughs> Do like a good Russell Hobbs. Plate rack. Yeah, plate rack. Plate rack. Silly things like that, isn't it? Yeah. What's that for? Don't know. Fairy liquid. <laughs> no, it is. I mean, it, it, it sounds daft, but just having a plate rack in a van. Yeah, I know. It's you just think sometimes, for the sake of a few pens, for the sake of a few pens, you can make all the difference. Quite a small washroom, but that's okay. It's a wet room, really, because you've got a plastic standing area. I won't go in there, but it's got everything you need. Skylight at the top. It's got a curtain that seals off the toilet and the cupboard at the back there. Has it got a hanging rail at all? Uh, no, no, no. That's no. no, pretty good. I mean, you're never going to get a huge shower in a van this summer. No, no. But then you can always, you know, you can always use the site facilities, and it's a usual Dometic fridge, yeah. Th three-way Dometic manual selection fridge, the same as the Baylor's. Yeah, which we found in the end we could. Well, you, you could, yeah, in it. yeah. You just, you just buy less stuff, don't you? <laughs> no, I like this. I'm surprised. The sunroof here as well, so let out the smells. Yeah, the big, huge one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Seen that. And you've got your controls up here. Fly screen. There's a lot of stuff on this van, isn't there? What was it? 43,941. Yeah. It's probably a 130 engine, isn't it? I would imagine, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. But yeah, it's got the steering wheel controls and six speed and. It's Persia. yeah. Let's have a look outside. I couldn't go outside without opening a couple of drawers, could I really? <laughs> I think your gas must be at the back there, but there's a quite a big deep space in there. So you could put like your satellite or something in there. Yeah, you could put a satellite like on there. there and TV yeah. up there. Yeah. 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 That's good. Can't see what size engine it is, but it must be a 130. I think you've got a window in the door, I notice. Waste is down there, and waste water is down there. Yeah, I haven't got a sticker on the side of it. But nice, yeah. So 185, isn't it? The, the, the one with the twin beds. Or do you want to have a look at this one? I look at this one for a change. Yeah, okay. So this is an Eldis Supreme from Preston, 115, four berth, four seats, and a double bed at the back. So this is a Peugeot 335, and it's 3,500. 
Euro 6. So this is quite a much bigger van. This is 48,967. Solar panel. A whale heating on these. This one's got a built-in Wi-Fi. Yes, it's got built-in Wi-Fi. Well, tw I think twin sofas are going to be a theme, aren't they? This is the lounge is oh it's identical it's isn't identical. it identical yeah yeah so same fridge Dometic fridge yeah it's got that lock on it hasn't it yeah yeah I can never get it open when it's got sometimes got that lock on it do that again push that down oh god won't no, come open no there's the microwave yeah electric hot plate oven grill there's a load of drawers here. Sorry. Missing opening. Oh, go on then. I'll let you open them. Uh, nice little drawers, aren't they? Not little gadget drawers. But yeah, you put sorry, your knives and yeah. forks in there, and quite they're reasonably deep as well, aren't they? There's a, yeah. That's a tiny one. I imagine that's just for your knives and forks. Yeah. So they're aggressively deeper, don't they? What's the one at the bottom? Is that there? That's a little cupboard, isn't it? I guess. Yeah, that opens that way. Yeah. Okay. And there's another one under there, under there as well. All right. Thanks for that. Assume you've got your plate racks in here somewhere. Yep. Still don't know what that's for. If anyone can answer, <laughs> <laughs> what that's for? I think you. I think it's for putting your fairy liquid bottles in. There's the wardrobe. This one's got the shelves in it. Hey, look, it's got a three-way splitter there. <laughs> the one I just fitted in my, right, yeah. my last video. That's right. nice. Ta table in the cupboard. Yeah. Yeah. But in its own little area. And it's a standalone table, isn't it? So you can put it outside. Yeah. Yeah, in our own little area. And you've got lots of shelves there. So you can put all your satellite and things yeah. in here, because that's where you're... Yes, yeah. it is. Mind you, they, would they be in the way of the clothes? The what, sorry? Would your clothes be in the way of all? all well, your you, you don't need to get to it, yeah, but I mean, I'd definitely shorten that lead. You definitely <laughs> have to tidy up. Well, I mean, I'm the one to talk for <laughs> tidying <laughs> cupboards, aren't I? But yeah, you'd have to have a really tidy bit in there. Yeah. Shut this door. Yeah. Right, uh, just comment on the bed here. I mean, they, this is not much of a cut off there on this French bed, is it? No. And that looks pretty wide to me. Well, you've got your lockers all the way around. Skylight. TV points there. Is there another TV point at the front there? Oh yeah, it's one of, it looks like it's one of those brackets that you can swing round. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got... Yeah. You've got a cover that goes around the bed. Yeah, shelves up there. Just looking for USBs here. Can't see any USBs above the the bed. But yeah, that's good. That's well, that is a small washroom. Yeah. Yeah. It is, isn't it? I would say that's the only disappointment. That is. I suppose it's adequate. Looks like it's got a thing that swings around. Yeah, yeah, so that's you. Quite nice. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, is it? So you get a little shower compartment there. Yeah. And shuts off the rest. Oh, I suppose that's adequate, isn't it? I can stand in it. Yeah. Not too much elbow room, but. So when you come out, you probably. Well, you can dress in that area, can't you? I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's not bad. It's not bad. Toilet at the back. Pulled on wash, pulled down wash basin, and uh, plenty of cupboard space there. Toilet roll holder there. Yeah. It's, I, this can't be a very long van, can it? No. Yeah, it's just just over seven meters. Quite impressed with these. 
Because you can make this up and fill all the bed, can't you, at the front here? Yeah, yeah. So if they cut off... Yeah, so you could sleep four off. people in here. Yeah. It's also easier to make up a bed with that yeah. than yeah. travel seats, but... Because yeah. you haven't got any travel seats. So. Most people are going to be using this for two, mm. two people, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Mm. It's turning into the eldest show, isn't it? So this is an eldest Supreme 196. So it's a six berth. This is 3,500 kilograms, and it's just under 7.4 meters long, or 24 feet, one inch. So you've got a double dinette in this one, and this is a classic layout, isn't yeah. it, for a six berth? Drop down bed above. Yeah. Yeah. It's just about enough. People say I never comment on headroom, but there's just about enough headroom for me to walk under. I'm just under six foot, so that's not bad. That doesn't inspire confidence. That's broken. What for the drop down bed? Drop down bed, yeah. yeah good start, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Don't is, it, is it an electric one or is it a manual one? I don't one? care, but that's broken. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, it is. My idea is great. It's an electric drop down bed. Is it? Oh, I'm sorry, but that really puts us off, doesn't it? <laughs> it? We've had such a bad experience with drop, electric drop down beds, and you walk in and you find that that's, doing that's that. broken. That's broken. On a new van. So with that, that's probably will stop it coming down, will it? I wouldn't want to put it down, to be no, honest. No, no, because then you, that time we couldn't get it back up again. Yeah, yeah. yeah on a positive note. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so on. this underneath goes into another bed, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. These are very comfortable, these yeah. uh, seats. This would be better as a four berth. <laughs> yeah, but there aren't many six berth fans, and they do tend to always have this double dine air, yeah. the drop down bed, yeah. and then a rear lounge which makes up into another bed. You can actually see this bed is sloping. Is it? Mm. Yeah, it's not my camera. It's sloping that way. Oh, I think I need to <laughs> sit underneath this much longer. No. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah. Beautiful big lounge. And th these are really comfortable, these uh, yeah. sofas are the same ones, yep. aren't they? The table there. TV, TV point there. Yeah, and you can you can shut off this area. It's got a slidey thing across. Same sort of kitchen, isn't it? As was in the yeah. last one we looked. At. Yeah, that's right. It's a nice sort of wide kitchen area. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's plenty of space in the kitchen. Well, it ought to be with six people. Yeah. What's the bathroom bathroom like? Well, that shut me up, doesn't it? Well, it's not too bad. We've got a wheel arch there, a little bowl, big mirror, roof above, shower unit, and a cupboard. And it's a curtain that goes around the area. It's all right. It's a reasonable size. I can't see six people queuing up for showers in there. Oh, well, yeah, but it is what most six birth ones are like. Yeah. Yeah. Not flat. Yeah. Extend that out. Trying to find some positives after that bed, to be honest. But oh, it's got a Russell Hobbs but microwave. Can't <laughs> beat that. And it's got a couple of couple of USB USBs. sockets. Yeah. There. They, they do look well equipped. These eldesses, don't they? Yeah. But, but no. Yeah, sure. Sorry.